Um, I gotta figure out what he's gonna bring because he do two types of martial arts, well, at least two that I know of. He do jailhouse rock. Uh, for those that don't know, jailhouse rock is a martial art that um, based on boxing, um, and he also does capoeira. Capoeira is the one thing that I know him for. He's real good at that. Um, so he'll be there. Um, let's go and let's get this party started because I need some water. You hear it in my voice? You don't wake up just need water. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Grab your glasses. We grow, folks. No plastic cups. <laughs> Drink your water. Drink, drink, drink your water. Lift your glass and 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 drink your water. Drink, 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 drink. Drink, 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 drink. Wow. Take your breath and drink your water. 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 Drink, breathe, drink, breathe. Drink, 
All right, family, I want to welcome you once again and say to each and every last one of you, great Fuji Chai Glee. Um, just to get you ready, tomorrow morning, Ujima, right? As you are leaving for work, please bask in the glow. If you leave early in the morning, bask in the glow of the blood moon, right? Just look at it. I mean, you know, I know some of y'all gonna be spooky about that, but it's blood red because of the, the way that the earth will be blocking the sun and only that red will be able to get out. It's gonna be a super moon. You know what I'm saying? We got the lunar eclipse, it's a blue moon. We got, we got a whole bunch of things happening at the same time on a, on a, on a, I, I don't want to say, I guess it's a celestial event. I don't want to say cosmic. Include the whole universe. So this is not something special that's happening. It's because the universe is big. I mean, it's, it's beyond our comprehension as far as the size. You know what I'm saying? Because there's stars out there that's as big as our solar system. That's hard to comprehend. You know what I'm saying? Because we on Earth, and we look around, and we think Earth is big. But Earth, compared to some of the stuff that's just floating around out there, it's ridiculously small. You know what I'm saying? For those that don't know, the Earth, the sun is a million times bigger than the Earth. Right? You know, so I mean, it's like, whoa, a million times. And then you got stars that are possibly a million times bigger than the sun. So, you know, when you start thinking about this stuff, you really start... You know what I'm saying? One of my one of my um one of my elders words always come back to me. You know what I'm saying? You are no higher than a blade of grass and no lower than its roots to the creator. You know what I'm saying? It always brings us back to that humbleness. You know what I'm saying? Where you know we could feel elated, but then when you really look at the mass of things in a perfect position as human beings, because we could look out in the stars and see. Realize how small we really are, but then at the same time, we get to look on a microscope and look at, don't see how really big we are. We are in between, no higher than a blade of grass, Oops. right? Which helps keep us, help keep, help, help, it helps keep us in our proper place, right? Helps, helps keep us um, in an understanding in, in the greatness of our power because even though they are, are, are a lot bigger and, and may cause a lot more problems. You know what I'm saying? Those little microviruses that we're looking at because those little things could get inside of you and tear your ass up. It could be humble bias. So we, it's like, it's this whole piece, man. And it's like, it helps us, uh, it, it helps us as far as, as working <laughs> with these principles because we understand that you know there's laws of the universe and we have to in a sense live by these laws of the universe and our ancestors laid these principles down laid these 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 ideas down because they lined up with they lined up with laws of determination being able to define yourself for yourself regardless of what's going on around you now and, and Giamme, as far as when people make it to the self mastery part, right? And brother, I mean, because listen, family, I, I need y'all to understand this, right? Determination is one of my favorite principles. I, I, I've been doing this so long that I have lost friends, I have lost relationships. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, uh, because I do what I do. I need y'all to understand. I, I don't just I don't just um, do this every so often. I'm thinking about this shit every day. I'm making time every day so that I can think about how can I move my people to to another level. How can I move my family to another level? How can I move my tribe to another level? You know what I'm saying? Is it is there something I'm missing? You know what I'm saying? Why things aren't clicking? Why are we trying to destroy each other all the time? You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to I'm to figure it out because I feel it's my responsibility. It ain't nobody else's responsibility. I define myself for myself. 
You know what I'm saying? I worked out my family to find themselves for themselves. So it's my responsibility. So I've been thinking about this. So every time I come at y'all, be like, well, in Jami, boom, boom, boom. I've been thinking about this shit. I've been laying it down. Anything worthy that never was. That's right. I agree with you. I agree with you. Right? You know, but the shit still hurts sometimes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, because, because you know, in hindsight, we could look at it and say that, but in the moment, when it's like, you know, when you got people around you like you crazy as fuck, and you, you pouring water to dead people. I've had that shit. I had my daughter come back and tell me that shit. You know, dad, I was born libation. Somebody, you know, they, they, act, they treat me like I'm crazy. I said, baby, welcome to the club. This is what we do. You know what I'm saying? We hold the traditions. We don't give a fuck what people say. We got to, that, that's that determination, right? You know what I'm saying? And, and and if you can instill that in your young people, if you can instill that, we can instill that in our kids. We ain't got to worry about it. I was um I had an issue um uh in my adventure yesterday about bullying. And you know, I'm hearing people say, you know, I don't want my child to be the next one to commit suicide because of bullying. So I had to look up the numbers as far as how many young black men or black women are killing themselves. And family, I want to, these numbers kind of tell me, uh, you because I say we, we got to look at the narrative. Uh, Brother Kwame said approximately 110 Earths will go across the face of the sun. This means that the sun is 4 pi times the Q of 55 of the diameter of the earth, approximately seven volume. Oh, so it's only 7,000 times? Thank you for correcting me. I thought it was a million times. Well, damn, I feel stupid. That's still a lot of earths. Let me go and finish this. So approximately 700, is it seven? Oh, it's 700,000. Okay, 700,000 times, Mr. Mathematician. You see, it's it, listen, it's dope when you got a team like that. You got a team like that, right? Brother, I don't want you to 100,000 matters because one of our kids might be listening or somebody might be listening that might go on a, um, on a show and have a $100 prize for being able to answer this question and we don't want them to be able to come back to Jeremy journey and be like y'all led me wrong it was only seven hundred thousand times so shouts out to brother kwame and his skill and his mastery but back to what i was saying family even though i can't remember and, um oh i had to look up the numbers and the narrative in the numbers now, they say that, and, and, I, and I need to stress this, they say that black youth suicides are increasing. Because of bullying, and because of the stresses of life. And I, I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to give y'all my look Because they say that the suicide rates for young black people is increasing. They say. As a matter of fact, they say they're shocked. Because historically, black folks not killing themselves is the one thing that we're beating every other group at. We have always done that, family. And what I don't understand is through all the shit we moved through, please explain to me how can suicide be moving up? Because, and, and then you know, people attribute bullying to it. And see, because this is what's this is what bothered me. We started to define ourselves or allowing ourselves to be defined. We're the same as everybody else, and this is the problem with that family. This is the problem that you got to deal with with that 
Because I want you to understand this because when you make yourself like everybody else, you receive everybody else's problems. Been a problem with us. Now, see, people talk about this bullying shit, family. We, ha we have been bullied in this motherfucking country since we got here. I mean, I mean, I really want y'all to understand what the fuck y'all trying to tell me. That my kids are killing themselves because of bullying. When we are a bully race, we have been bullied since we got off the goddamn ships. And all of a sudden now, since the 90s, I want to put the numbers, since the late 90s, the numbers of teen suicides in our culture is going up. What is that telling you? You know what I'm saying? What is the narrative? In the 90s, suicide is going up. Family, I mean, I, I, I need y'all to hear me. And y'all need to talk to some of your friends about this shit, especially when they start talking about it. Because we are putting words onto our children. We are putting thoughts into their minds that they never had before. We had children sleeping on dirt floors. We had children going through all types of trauma that never considered killing themselves. And now our people are in the most, in a sense, in this country, in the most comfortable position that we have ever been in. And now our kids are killing themselves. And it's because we are allowing other people to define our reality. Just because theirs, just because Asian kids, just because white kids, just because all these other kids are killing themselves. Family, we had at one point in time, we we had we, we could stand up and say we don't kill ourselves like that. Some of you are old enough to remember conversations about when um um you might be talking with your family and they talk about going through the depression. <laughs> And you come, I came home from school and I was talking to my grandmother about depression, the, the, the Great Depression, and how white folks was, the teacher was telling me white folks, was there, people was throwing themselves out of buildings. And my grandmother corrected me, said, no, baby, that wasn't people, that was white folk. We don't do that. What you mean? Oh, we, no. Nah. <laughs> we don't kill ourselves. Hell, I. I was born around that time. I don't remember. I don't remember not being in the depression, baby. Right? Family, we got to start taking our definition back. I mean, I'm telling y'all, man, this this really affects me because when black folks come at me talking to me about some shit that's not us, it's not us. It has never been us. We have never been that goddamn weak. Never. And I'm just trying to wonder, when did it become acceptable to be that goddamn weak? I'm just, I'm sorry. I mean, I know, and I know some of us really have some issues, you know? I mean, I, I understand, you know, but I'm, I, I just can't help but to wonder, where was the issues when we was on the plantation? Where were they? Where was the disobedient children when we was on the plantation? When we was trying to figure out, we were, we, we, where was all these issues coming from? I'm telling you these issues coming from because we allow other people to define our reality. We allow other people to tell us our stories. We allow other people to, 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 to harness their koozie chocolate and use it against us. There used to be certain things that just didn't happen. Certain conversation that just wasn't had. With us. Certain shit that just wasn't okay. And suicide was one of those. MTV, Nick TV, Law and Order, etc. All these shows. See, because we watch these shows and we don't realize these shows are stories that are getting in us. And we allow our kids to watch this shit. And these little white kids on these TV shows be going through this depression. And all of a sudden now... Y'all don't see the connection? We got to start telling ourselves different stories once again. Because Brill Rabbit, you know what I'm saying? Brill Rabbit, I mean, I want y'all to think about this. Brill 
Oh, and Brother Nuba says excessive sugar intake as well. Was the weakest one. You have Brer Bear, Brer Fox. Brer Rabbit was subject to be dinner on anybody's plate. This is why our ancestors chose the rabbit. Brer Sprider or Anansi was the smallest thing in the forest. And was subject to be on any of his competition's plate. It's a reason our, our people chose the smallest and the least to tell our folk tales, even before we came into tragedy like this, even before we came here. We have to understand, man. It's, it, it, it's, not, it's, it's not cool. It's not cool. We're not West Asians. We're not East Asians. We're not Central Asians. We are of African descent. We are black folks. We are the black people of America who have went through all types of tragedies and have been able to always hold our head up high because we, we, we have been able to do the impossible. We have been able to turn pig guts into a delicacy. We have been able to go out into the woods and find weeds and call them greens and make them good for the whole world to eat. We have been able to make to make our shacks look like they were motherfucking palaces. We have been able to make looking like having nothing was the place to be. Family, and you mean to tell me all of a sudden now we got people that's defining our reality, that's telling us that it's okay to kill yourself? Shoes? That was never us, and we need to stop accepting that shit. I'm just, I'm just saying, man, this is... So one of my friends sent me a, a video that said, I didn't come this far, come this far. Say this to y'all family, we didn't come this far to come this far. We got a lot farther to go. But we gonna have to start harnessing this, this Kuji Chagalia and defining ourselves for ourselves. We want to define our kids. We got to help our kids find their definition. For is, see, because a lot of us are operating on software that is not culturally appropriate. We're, we're operating on, we got operating systems that, that's going on inside of us that are not culturally appropriate. So it start running into hiccups and all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying, boom, it, 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 we have meltdowns. That's not, you know what I'm saying? We need to start making sure that people understand, family, that, you know, we, you know, we have a certain way about it. We have a certain way. In this world, there's a certain way for us. There's a certain way for us. We have to understand, man, that a lot of our ancestors wasn't, see, because people will have you believe that your ancestors was, will, will, some of your ancestors understand how strong some of, how strong some of your ancestors had to be dreaming about you. Knowing that I, I have to sleep on this floor. But one day, one of my kids going to have a bed. And guess who that is? That's you. I, I, got to, I, got to, I got to do these crops one day. That's you. I mean, do you understand? Do you understand what we're giving away? We're giving away a legacy. We're giving away somebody. We're giving away who have struggled here and built this whole country, made this country wealthy. Because I need you to understand this, and then I'm done, family. If you don't understand nothing else, understand this about economics. There's no way that America could have ever amassed the amount of wealth they had if it was not for you. Because capitalism thrives on the fact that they need as cheap as possible labor. And what's cheaper labor than captives you can't amass wealth if you don't have cheap or free labor there's no way there's no way this is why other countries can't do what america has done in the past because america had you this is why i say you are the few you are the bones upon which this country is built 
family. And you, we need to understand this. And we need to understand there's a debt owed to us. And we need to get out here and get this shit. And you know what? Another reason that a lot of kids are now committing suicide because they see us get pumped out. They see us giving up. I'm um, sorry. Um, Brother Newell said, after a bit more scrutiny, the sun is approximately seven times 10. <laughs> Wait, man. Kwame say, after a bit more scrutiny, the sun is approximately seven times 10 to one power times the volume of the earth. Define that for us, brother, please. All right, Kwame about to give me give us a number because he got to work that out. But good God. See, that's what happens when you have a dope team, right? Anubis is throwing out the sugar. He's throwing out the TV shows that we've been watching, that we that we constantly be perusing, right? That, that's been programming us. Then he threw out the sugar. And then Kwame is still working on the size of the sun so we can make sure that our kids or whoever's listening to this can have the right perspective so that you could be able to look up at the sun and be like, damn. I really am small and look at the grass and be like, damn, I really am big. I am the great in between in, 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 um, in Marvel history. They changed how this dude is and changed. I mean, actually they changed everything. But when I was young, they had this thing called secret wars, the first secret wars and the secret wars was, was pulled off by this character called, uh, in what was he called? Anubis, see, my team is dope, but I think it was that he was like in between because he was in, he came from a pocket dimension. He was at, in the beginning, he was this whole universe, a master to one person. So he was in between everything so he could create and do whatever he want. And in the sense, family, this is what we are. This is what we are. We're in between. Secret Wars is one of my favorite storylines. Do you, do you remember the first one? Who was the dude that started the, the first Secret Wars? What was his name? It wasn't it. Was it the in between? It wasn't the in between. It was the uh, people supposedly started the second Secret War. Um. Well, anyway, it don't matter. But yo, I'm gonna finish this water. We are gonna do our toast. I'm gonna get y'all out of here, family. But yo, family, self determination. This is one of the keys to us moving and please instill this in your children so that no matter what they're going through because like i said in Giami, one of the things that we teach individuals is that listen the self is composed the self listen the self is absolute complete and perfect and that are not influenced by external circumstances regardless of what happened to you right the self should not be defined by what's going on outside of you this is not modern wisdom. This is ancient wisdom. This is how your ancestors made it through because they didn't allow themselves to be totally defined by what was going on outside of them. They plugged into something bigger. They plugged into something deeper. They plugged into something that worked. So if our kids are killing themselves, we got to ask our question. We got to ask ourselves a question. Is what we're plugging ourselves into and plugging our kids into still working for us. Just a thought. If it's working for you, good. If not, then you need to upgrade. Because it's, it's it, man, you, you don't understand, family. I'm around babies all day long, seeing them take on other people's stories. Seeing them do culturally inappropriate things. My fault. He's the beyonder. It's the beyonder. My fault. Not in between the beyonder. You are beyond. You are beyonder, yo. We are a group of beyonders. Although we're from Africa, we're not totally African. Although I mean, y'all got to understand, family, we are in between. We are the only. See, I never understood what Jesus meant when he said the son of man until I really started looking at our situation. We truly have no place to lay our head. There, you know what I'm saying? We are the son of man. 
as a group. Do you, I mean, we are the sun. Do, do you not understand that we're living the mythology that our ancestors prayed about? We are the mythology. This is what I'm telling you. Listen, that's why I'm telling you. We have to start getting ourselves ready. Because if we're living the mythology, we're going to move through the separation period and we're going to move into the initiation period. Now, what does that mean, Brother Hot Tim? The initiation period means that you will be initiated. But I need you to understand how mythic initiation works. Mythic initiation goes hand in hand with death. There's a death and a rebirth. Or a crucifixion. Or something like that. You know what I mean? So if we are the son of man and we're living a mythology... We need to prepare ourselves because either it could go down like the myth or we could change the story. Because I'm telling you right now, the way your boy, the great pumpkin is rolling, he is going to need a scapegoat to take attention off of all of his fuckery. Let me say that again. This is an old political ploy. This is an old spiritual ploy. This is something that you can read about in all of the holy books as far as having a scapegoat. As far as having a scapegoat. You always, listen, politically, spiritually, in order to get the people's attention off of the shit that is, that, that is bothering you, you got to give them a scapegoat. You got to give them something that they could put their aggression on put their aggression on and sacrifice it. Right now, he's starting with the DACA, but the DACA is not really acceptable. You know what I'm saying? Then it, then it first, but first it was immigrants. It's not really acceptable. You know what I'm saying? So we got to see, we got to see, the, 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 you know what I'm saying? Because nobody, no one us, yeah. But it's a possibility, family, a strong possibility because it has worked in the past. That's why they lynched us. Because there's other shit going on in that town that they needed to cover up. So what they do, they focus all their energy on us. But you know the deep part about that, I ain't gonna, y'all need to, y'all need to really look that shit up. The deep part about that is that they usually start to worship that thing that they sacrifice. So it makes you kind of wonder who they secretly worshiping. Exactly what it is that is happening inside. Of the sun, I'm fully aware of what we've been told, but I just think that there's more to the sun than just what the surface of it tells. Ooh, you know what? That's a that'd be a good that's a good book. Hold on, I see I'm trying to push more on here. Let me go to this because last time I did that with Shaka. So um, but let's do this toast. I mean, I'm gone. Uh, all right, I got that. Let's see, dandelion root and burdock root all mixed up into one. We're gonna lift up our glass, family. We're gonna do a real quick toast. I want to thank everybody for joining me. Right? Like I said, I, I get passionate about uh, this. Is what I do, family. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm very. Why well, ain't going to apologize for that no more? It's about what I do. I do. When I hear shit, that's not us. It does it bothers me? It bothers me. I just need us to be culturally appropriate. Culturally appropriate food every now and then. Drink culturally appropriate water make culturally appropriate movements, and we will live a long time. We lift up our glass to the creator by whatever name you choose to call it creator. We call on that force, that, that first source. We call on that first ancestor, and we lift up our glass. And family, we say, I say. From there, without any further, further ado, we call on our personal ancestors. Miles Brown, Miss Ann, Robert Tex, Ella Davis, Herman Brown, Senior Rosalie Tilly, George, and William Walton, Chris, and Fanny Gass, and Lena, Uncle Chris, I'm Fiend, Cleveland, Geneva Brown, Margaret Ellis, Wash Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Navarro Brown, Jenna Gaines, Herman Brown, Second, 
Wash Ellis Jr., Katie Ellis, Nikki Ellis, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tapper, John Fallon, Montague Pittman L. At my Ron Malika Fakur, Dr. Marianne Williams, Kojo Kamal, Elder Farmer, Elder Millie Dixon, Tony Clark, Pastor Yusuf Weston, Elder Ogeny, Elder Ron Coleman, Alfred Brofro, Ector Jr., J. Edwards, Carla Harris, Grace Lundy, Inez Harris, Phyllis Rose, Sterling and Lucy Wright, Degger, Pulling and the Luster Brothers, Miss Eda Brooks Crawley, Mr. Frederick Crawley Sr., Mrs. Jerry Brunson, Janice Foster, Charles Jordan, Carol Smith, Walter Smith, Richard Triggs, Mary Franklin, Daniel Ford, George Gibson, Nana Loretta Clark, Inez McCray, Fritz Clark, Justice Derek Grandam, and Virginia Rogers, Smith, Lewis Henderson, Calvin Spratling, Mary Elizabeth Walker, Raymond Walker Sr., Sarah Jane Carter, Michael Ford Jr., Carolyn D. Russell, Susan B. Smith, Teresa Clay, Melvin Dale Hodge, Melvin Dale Hodge, Copeland, Mildred Copeland, Jenny Clay, Bird Beatty, Sarah Ware, Levita Farmer, our ghost of Sue, Shell Harvey, Aunt Charmaine, Aunt Evelyn, the oldest Hasbury, Harvey Hasbury Sr., T.C. Islam, Terrell Dunbar, Will Thomas, Sarah Berry, Mark Walsh, Merle B. Thornton, Pearl G. Thornton, Ida Johnson, Florence M. Carter, Joanne Thornton, Erica Tricia Lewis, Juanita Wright, Robert Wright, George Wright, Isa, Frederick Davis, Mary Elizabeth Rogers, Mary Esther Keechler Reese, Linda Watson Hammonds, Jarrell Giles Watson, Sparrow, Slimmy, Selvin Lewis, Andrew Holmes, Pearl Moore, Percy Moore Jr., Mildred Owens, Booker T. Bowden, Charlie Hunt, Sammy Stover, Hilda Pearson, Sturgeon Thornton, Richard Thornton, Lavina Hall, Freeman Banks, and Mary Moss, Ophelia Peacock, Willie Thornton, Napoleon Kennedy, Mark Ramsey, Paul Ramsey, Matt Ramsey, David Ramsey, Charles E. Thornton, Frankie Quails, Urania Thornton, Bernice Quails, Ernestine Jackson, Frankie Johnson, Teresa Mormon, Leon Johnson, Charles Bell, Vivian Ramsey, Essie Johnson, Dorita Johnson, Leon Johnson, James W. West Sr., James Parham, Dana Jones, Henry Worlds, James Farmer, Marie Chavez, Leon Grace, Bessie Johnson, Hattie Levester, Mary Moreland, Paul Moreland, Elder Caleb, Rosemary Martinier, Elder Amitab Wellman, Fred Douglas Triggs Sr., Thelma Triggs, Thomas and Lula Berry, Lacey and Eleanor Howe, Franka Russell Davis, Fred Douglas Triggs II, Vina Triggs, Helen Fuller, Eugene Jackson Sr., Richard Ellis, Silas Alexander, Charles Maxwell, Percy May, Alexander, Arthur Reynolds, Stanley Lockhart, Ricky Lockhart, William Lockhart, Woodrow Lockhart, Brenda Porter, Deacon Hargrove, Carla Sawyer, Andrew Parker, Doris Donald, Ellis Murphy. Um, Brother Nubis says, Gene, um, add to his list, Gene Holmes, Dana Jones, Peter Charles, Christy Nichols, Cardinal Robinson, Rosemary Charles, Sister Tiandra got Ada Pearl, Bob Ingalls, Jack Wallace, um, Warren P. Finch, Tim Ingalls, Audrey Finch, William Billingsley Jr. Um, if you, uh, Sister Cynthia, if you have somebody you want to um, throw up, go ahead, put it up. I will get it for you. Um, William Billingsley Jr. Um, Brother Deshaun puts his mother up, Jennifer Sensenball. Um, I added Hazel Gaston, Jerry Brantley, Brian Watson Jr., Kaneko Parsons to my family list. Sister Aisha and Dayton says Stacy Trice, Frank Smith, Kel Leonard, David Brown, Miss Ford puts Ruth Carter, June Cox, Ruth and Paul Cox, Ronald Irving, Judy Hubbard, Irene Johnson, Francis Boots Jefferson. Dr. D says Dan Wilkinson Sr. Uh, Sister Jackie out of Maryland. She added to her list Emma McClendon. We also have Jerry Doyle, Amina Robinson, Sister Madonna salutes her mom, Donna Hill, and Richard Levis. All right. So, family, we lift up the glass to those ancestors and we say our shade. Um, we move on to the present moment. I know, I know some of us got to get out of here, right? Um, we lift up our glass and we say, in this moment is our power. Cynthia said Archie and Margaret Armstead, Catherine and Jimmy Anthony. Um, I'm gonna come back to your um comment, uh Anubis. 
We lift up our glass and we salute all of those ancestors and we salute our present moment. And we uh, we toast, we are in the moment today is Kuji Chaglia, the modic principle is justice, the colors indigo, the hermetic laws correspondence, um, male name for the day is my day, Kwabin, I was born on a, I was born on a Kuchi, I almost said that I was born on a Kuchi Chaglia. Name is Abana. Let me stay, let me make sure you understand. Particular formations. Let's look for our principles and our people. We got enough complaints. Let's look for our principles and our people. Us and our people practicing our principles. Examples. So we lift up for that moment. We say, Ashay, we toast our children, our children's children to affinity and do affects our children. And we need to make sure. We need to make sure positive energy or balanced energy they way because too much positivity shit sometimes. I'm just saying we need to balance it out, family. You know what I'm saying? My heart is about balance. My heart is not about positivity. I want to straight up. I need to stress that to y'all because that's something that's part of that. That's part of that narrative that's kind of messed up for us. My yacht is about balance. My yacht is not about 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 positive. You understand what I'm saying? It's about balance. This is why you got hair root fighting set balance. You know what I'm saying? You gotta understand that. This is why you got day and night balance. You know what I'm saying? So let's stop letting people grab grab our shit and run off into the left field. Everything's supposed to be rolled. No, life is boring. I don't usually watch live vids, but I must full work. All right, baby, I'm about to get you up out of here right. So we lift up that glass and we toast our future generations. And we toast them in balance and we toast them in power. We say, I say, patience. And last but not least, family, I toast you. I thank each and every last one of y'all for joining me. And once again, we have completed another toast, family. Going on two years straight. All right? We're going we gonna to finish out this year strong. All right? You know what I'm saying? Because we just started this year. So we're going to, you know, shout us out. So now let me read the comments. Because Brother Nubis says, I often wonder just as exa just exactly what is that of the sign. I am fully aware that we've been told, but I think that there is more to the sign than just there's more to the oh my god. I got all this stuff popping up. All right. More to the sign than just what the surface of it tells us. And that's why our ancestors called it rock up with it as a as a person like us you understand what i'm saying because like i said i mean if you really if we really think about it um the dude that wrote wrote the movie uh i can't remember the name arthur c clark says any individual or any people that comes to a people with advanced technology that advanced technology would appear to be magic you know what i'm saying we don't really know what's going on with the sun we, we might only be able to perceive what we could perceive. And I agree with you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, that's why our ancestors dealt with the sun as a person. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It was like, you know what I'm saying? It's big rub there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's like, it's something it's something big out there. Sister Cynthia said, I don't usually give him thanks. Thank you. And thank you for joining us. Uh, also, uh, Brother Kwame says, simply put it, is to say that about 150 million Earths 150 minutes? No, Kwame, that's too many. That's too you sure? That, that that's we we went from one million to seven hundred thousand to one hundred and fifty million herbs. I thought it was a million herbs, man. Go on back, do the math, double check that. Wars is one of my favorite stories. Okay, cool. All right, we're going backwards now. All right, so I want to thank everybody for joining us. Uh um we don't objectify things. We personalize all things, right? We, you know, sort of like hip hop with us, right? Our spirituality, our relationship with stuff. You know what I'm saying? You can't understand it unless you do it. You don't understand hip hop unless you really get up in. You know what I'm saying? Unless you into hip hop, you don't really understand it. And that's the same thing with our spirituality. So it's it's hard for a lot of people to understand what we talking about, what we doing, because you're not in the culture. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, I talked to one brother one time who stepped outside the culture and started looking at the culture from a 
from a, a, a objective perspective talking about oh so you're pouring libations you're still doing that and he has some fancy word for it I mean, it's like, the fuck out of here excuse my language it work i mean sometimes i just got let me listen dog how are you gonna go how are you gonna go from pharaoh to you know what i'm saying yeah i mean come on bro i don't understand <sighs> but i'm gonna drink get your health drink that's the second part of the toast drink water first get your health drink and i'm out so shouts out to all of you. Thank you for joining. Those that join me now, my daily toasters, and those. Peace out. What are you doing? Is she singing? Go ahead, Bert. 